<laughs> well, that's the first time I've ever ran an engine to failure. Of course, it's just a test engine. It's got really thin metal and everything in it. But look at it, it collapsed the tailpipe. I've never seen that before. That's insane. Of course, it was pulling uh, almost 700 pounds of thrust. So I guess the uh, once it got hot, it was starting to glow. You know, once the uh, it's got such a massive amount of suction coming back up that it just literally sucked it closed. <laughs> Oh, well, that's too much fun. Well, anyway, even though I collapsed the end of my pipe, uh, the the engine that, that this is a prototype for will actually have this really cool rocket nozzle on it. It's a double walled and everything, so and it'll be thicker, of course, and stainless. Um, but uh, so anyway, um, I got all the answers I needed. I got my uh, my pumps right. I got my my fuel nozzles right. Everything worked perfect. All my you know little. Uh, yeah, push buttons and all that crap. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, what we got going on here. First, let's look at the uh, the damage. <laughs> that is too cool. Look at that. Sucked it. That's what I call an engine that sucks. <laughs> anyway, looks like I've got my uh, spark on. Turn that off. Anyway, okay, this is uh, this is a lot of jerry rigged looking stuff here and of course it won't be on the on the real uh the real mccoy the of course the fuel pumps or the fuel tanks there the truck that's going in will have um uh you know the fuel will come from its fuel tank the the pumps will be all nice and neat and and uh missing and all that kind of stuff all the wiring of course is just jerry rigged so i can uh, so i can just uh fire up pumps and and uh, turn off things at different times to, to uh, feed it the kind of fuel I want. And of course, all of those fuel lines and stuff, uh, you know, won't uh, there won't be any lines like that on the on the real engine. I don't use rubber lines, um, you know, because you're running pressure through them. And when you turn it off, the the lines will uh, balloon a little bit and, and put more fuel in. And there's a lot of little list missing things here, but uh, but all the answers I needed to go ahead and finish the project. Uh, have all been answered uh, have all been answered on that run so anyway <laughs> uh, that's the most fun I think I've ever had to run in anything the first time I've ever had a failure like that that is cool I mean it's not worrying because you know it's a it's just a thin test engine and everything but wow well I tell you what that was getting so brutal I could hardly stand next to it you, <laughs> it might look like it's fun to uh, to be next to one of these engines, but I guarantee you it's not. It feels like somebody's got you by the throat from such a shock wave coming off. Especially if you're if you're next to these uh, intakes right here, um, the shock wave that's coming off those valves that are slamming open and shut. That those come out of uh, of that, so it's actually worse standing next to the front of it. Well, of course you don't want to stand next to the tail of it. It'd probably be worse there, but but it's not good there. But uh, anyway, too much fun.